How's it going everybody? Each season brings reworks, or changes or tweaks or whatever you want to call them. I don't particularly like arguing about semantics. So yeah, Raid is one of them this season and one of the changes was to his combos, he now has additional chains. The attacks within the chains are all the same, meaning there's no difference to the second light for example if the first attack was a heavy or a light. Side lights are now always 500 milliseconds throughout the chain. Top lights get slower each time, starting at 500, 600 and the chain finisher is 700 milliseconds. For the heavies, the side ones are 900, 800 and 800. All top attacks are 1000 milliseconds. Now for a change that a lot of people were requesting, combo heavies now have hyper armor. The timing for the armor differs though, it's 300 milliseconds for the first combo attack and 100 milliseconds for the second one. 100 milliseconds is extremely early. Even for the top attacks, despite being slower, the armor startup is the same. Another change was to stun and tap, it's now faster than before and is 500 milliseconds. This is still not fast, so use it carefully because most people are still perfectly capable of parrying it on reaction. I've heard this rumor a couple of times now, but stun and tap is not faster when used after chain heavies or your zone, it's always 500 milliseconds. From dodges it can be used 200 milliseconds into it at the earliest and 500 milliseconds at the latest. After that you throw a light. The timing for the soft feint from a heavy changed as well. I'm not going to show you every single instance here, just look at the numbers on the screen. These are the variable timings for each attack that can be soft feinted into stunning tap. One last thing regarding this move that's worth mentioning is that you always combo into your finisher attack after using it, meaning it's the third light and like I said before the third top light is 700 milliseconds so be aware of your guard direction. The side lights direction might even be obscured by the stun so depending on your graphic settings you probably have to guess what side you want to go. The other possible soft feint from your heavies is into guard break. This is one of the new changes and will allow Raider to catch people more easily. There's no variance in the timing, it strictly follows the feint rule of 400 milliseconds for impact. This goes for all heavies as well as both zones. And speaking of zones, his new neutral zone now comes from the other side and as you've probably seen already has a new animation. Alright, fun facts now. The attack has a 1300 milliseconds recovery when whiffing it, as well as when hitting it. So far it's a little strange but when looking at the combo zone it's the same thing, 1300 milliseconds. I mean, one is a massive 50 damage attack, the other one just a random unblockable but okay, long as recovery it is. But here's the kicker, the combo zone puts your opponent into hit stun for 1000 milliseconds, but the neutral zone just for 800. Which makes the new neutral zone unsafe on hit, yes you heard correctly. If you land your neutral zone, the enemy gets a free guard break. Mind you, the build we got to play in early access is most likely not the exact same as the one we get on Thursday. How likely it is for this bug to be fixed, I'll leave that to each one of you to decide for yourselves. I'll take bets in the comment section. But moving on, dodge guard break is still in the game, 
It's a move that is not very well liked overall, as it promotes a very defensive playstyle. The earliest possible time you can use it is 200 milliseconds into the dodge. After that, it has a variable timing, so you can adjust accordingly to what you want to dodge. The numbers on Stampede Charge itself didn't change, but as a reminder for everybody, it did lose all its armor. This means that throughout the whole carry and wall splatting animation, Raider can now be interrupted by both his opponents as well as his teammates. It is no longer a guaranteed death sentence if you get caught by a Raider and he has teammates around him. So please, let the Raider finish his hit with the knee and time your attacks accordingly. Otherwise, you might get an earful. And that's about it, Raider got a severe nerf to his 4v4 prowess, but the extremely long stun lock from Stampede Charge was hated by the community, so we'll see how much the rest of these changes has compensated for it. I personally had hoped for more, especially in regards to stun and tap, but I guess we'll have to make deal with what we got now. I hope the video was helpful, thanks for watching, latest everybody.